Six months ago, this was a construction site. And today, it's a well-designed city with a, an amazing um, victory arch and uh, magical lighted trees. And I have come here several times to share with you, Ashrafians, um, to stay here with you. And, and I have been sleeping here. I have been sharing my meals with you. I have seen you in your activities, seeing where you prepare your daily chores, where you design your clothes. I've seen you gardening, building, repairing, constructing, communicating. I've seen you broadcasting and preparing uh, the, materi the material you launch on, on internet. And I say this because, as you know, over the past year, the pro propaganda by the regime and its lobbyists and collaborators was that Ashraf 3 is a closed compound that no one is allowed to come in. Well, the whole world is here, right? And we're here not only because we have been invited, but also because this is the right thing to do. And we're here even after knowing that we were targets in a bomb threat in Villepinte. But those who are saying that this is a very secret, closed compound are also saying that there are strange things happening here. And a very prestigious magazine uh, in February this year in Der Spiegel, uh, there was an article saying that whoever came here came to be trained and pierce eyes. Well, believe me. That. But those accusations bear the mark of the defamation strategy of the Molas. And Miriam, I have to thank you for the effort you have made In the exhibit that we saw yesterday, which is a first-class documentation exercise, um, you recreated, even with the pain of remembrance, the conditions of incarceration in Iran and the torture chambers of the mullahs. And I want to thank you, because I know how difficult it is to talk about our own suffering, and we tend to be very abstract. But with the exhibit, we could see who were the ones, piercing eyes, burning faces, cutting hands, and the least of tortures. Well, frankly, I, can, I cannot continue naming them because I think that they can only come from the mind of a psychopath. So I want to say two things. First, shame, shame on those who were either fed or paid by the mullahs, by the Ministry of Intelligence of Iran to spread lies about who we are here and who you are here in Ashraf 3 and demonize the MEK. Shame on those who are at the service of a corrupt, bloodthirsty criminal regime, spreading lies. And I know if my American friends remember that two weeks ago in the New York Times, there was an op-ed stating that the Revolutionary Guards were this transformed new entity loved by the people and that Trump's policy, because of that, uh, was going to be a failure. Well, it's going to be a success because what the American government is achieving with this is to cut the financing to this monstrous, diabolic organization. And the truth is, 
that the reason why the regime is spreading those lies is because the regime is desperate, we know that, because they fear the Iranian resistance and they fear you, Miriam. They fear you for what you represent and what you are. You are the unbreakable resistance. After 40 years of fighting, here we are, stronger than ever. You are the beacon of hope. You are the rose in the desert, as you all Ashrafians are. And you are the force of change. And you are the phoenix ri rising from the ashes. Rajavi and Masood. Guarantee the only for peace in Iran, in the region, and as a guarantee of peace in the world. So, I wanted to say another thing, and now I'm talking to the Mullahs. I want to say to them that we are ready to take them down. That we are united with the people of Iran that are taking the risk in Iran, and we are there with them. And we are coming to get you, ayatollahs and mullahs. We are going to get you because we want you to be accountable for the crimes against humanity that you have perpetrated for 40 years in Iran. And we are ready. Jose, Jose, Jose.